Hey guys, this is ACEEE06, and I'm making this video because in the last week we have found out some devastating news. As far as we know, for the first time ever, one of our fellow elevator filmers has passed away. His name is James Brock, and news apparently first surfaced on August 2nd. As a result, the thumbnail has been made, I think, by Diesel Ducey, and many of us, including myself, have uploaded it to our Facebook page, and turns out, already as sad as that's been, apparently, he lost his life back on June 21st, and even worse, it's bad enough to find out he's gone, even worse to find out the method in which he was murdered. And it's just, I mean, it's just, what else can you say? It's just disheartening. A young man, he was 24. Lost his, I mean, he lost his life. Really, no apparent reason except that this person named Richard Trefoli. I'm having a hard time pronouncing his name, but took out a gun and shot him. Apparently, they knew each other. In fact, they were actually dating at one point. I'm not sure if we still were at that time, but. Whether there was an argument or whatever happened, there's no reason it should have led to this. I mean, why would you just take out your take out a gun? I, I don't know how I got the gun, but take out the gun and shoot him. But I mean, what did he do to you that was so bad? And the answer is it couldn't have been that bad. Couldn't have been really bad at all. You had a disagreement. I mean, just, just there's just no reason for that. And although I didn't get to meet him in person, meet him personally, I did see quite a few videos of his, including the touching video in which he came out. And he proved to be a like a very strong guy, like he had a lot of tough things in his life but he certainly did not deserve this although the elevator hobby is how many of us started how he knew who he sadly was instead of should be is but a lot of us knew who he was because of having that in common, most notably like seeing videos either in Atlanta with EMS 318, some of those were also worth Music Freak CC, and also he was with Diesel Ducey and Roanoke, but it went far beyond just the hobby. Although he had stopped filming elevators, either in 2015 or 16. Still, I mean, good friend to many people in the community. He went through some, like I said, he went at some very tough times, including his mother passing away from a dreadful disease called ALS. I mean, I've heard of it like a classmate of mine lost her mother to that same disease and another elevator enthusiast lost his dad to that disease I'd, I'd say his username but since I haven't talked to him about this since I haven't really gotten permission I'm not going to say it even though he may not in the mind just to play it safe. And 
the, I mean, I mean, I never said this to anyone, but one night I did have a dream that I was <laughs> filming an elevator with him at one of the, uh, at a mall, or at a department store of a mall. But the point is, I mean, he seemed like a really nice person. I wanted to meet him and sadly did not get the chance. And just the fact that a nice young man like that could be taken away really for no reason. There's no reason for this person to shoot him. And now Brock is James Brock is sadly gone as far as we know and certainly believe that he's up in heaven and hopefully enjoying elevators up there. Hopefully having a much better time than than the had experienced in many cases on earth and the fact that you know I mean he had supported people through their own tough times he had, he was just trying to prove his life, yes, he did make some mistakes, but who doesn't make mistakes? As far as we know, there's no such, that there's never been a perfect person, and when I first heard about this, I was like, I mean, yes, I was in shock, but I thought, oh no, he probably thought he since he was having a tough time, I thought he had perhaps overdosed on something, but then when I found out that he was murdered, I, like, I just, I mean, my heart sunk. It's just, it's hard to believe. Now, and speaking of hard to believe, there has been one person who has left messages of trying to bring James Brock back to life, and I'll just say this, if we could, he would have been brought back by now, okay, at the very least, in the past few days after finding out. Unfortunately, like many other tragic losses of life, it hasn't been proven possible to bring someone back. I mean, I wish it were possible, but it's unfortunately not, and I, I know to this User, it's very hard to accept it. I mean, last or June 2016, I lost my closest uncle, and the sad thing is, I hadn't even seen him the last three years of his life. So our family had been on tough terms, and it actually came due to something, due to toughness in my life. But the point is, it's been hard for me to accept it, and. However, I know it's true, leaving messages isn't going to make the situation better. Yes, I know he meant no harm, but unfortunately, there's nothing that we could do to reverse this. Now, although, again, like I said earlier, thumbnail say that August 2nd he died, but apparently he died back on June 21st, and for about six weeks, just nobody knew about it. However, somehow, it was traced back to that day. Now, I mean, I'm not going to change my thumbnail because it's tragic enough that he's gone. Changing it to an earlier day would only make things worse. But, somehow, I, I don't know how this happens or where. I don't know if his body got hidden, but I mean, I really shouldn't talk about it, it's sickening stuff. But, yeah, I mean, 
for six weeks. But I mean, we just thought things were okay. We didn't think that somebody in the elevator community has gone much less by murder. Speaking of which, now to direct this towards the person who killed him. There was no reason to do that. I mean, why would you just... Never mind how he got the gun. Why would you just... Why would you do that? Took that guy's life away for no reason. And you really don't deserve to have your own life. Yes, I heard it was second-degree murder, but... Instead of first, but still, murder is murder. And anything other than either life in prison or the death penalty is not enough. For James Brock and his family, my prayers go out to you. You do not deserve this. I know what I'm saying. Nothing can be enough, but... Just saying this to know that I'm there. I mean, support your family. It's terrible, terrible time. Now, a moment of silence. Alright guys, just had a moment of silence for James Brock and in respect to his family you do not deserve this man, I'm sorry we never got to meet each other as far as I know you were a good guy you had challenges, but so have a lot of if not all of us, including myself hope you're having a much Better time in heaven. Joining elevators and other hobbies you en that you enjoy. And hopefully you've reunited with your mother and any other relatives that are up there. And I know this is a tough ending, but there's probably no proper way. So, guys, that'll be it.